Welcome to a tutorial on using the interactive prompt to enter new derivations into the physics derivation graph. This is a, a project that I've been working on for a few years. All of the source code for both the, the analytics and the uh, data are available on GitHub. Uh, so what I'm going to be exploring today is in this version 3 directory uh, in the bin under interactive um, user prompt. So you can look at the source code there if you want. In the meantime, we're going to look at how to use it. All right, so as I um, pull into my terminal here, I'm in the version 3 directory, and then I'm going to start up the interactive uh, session. So we're, we're first faced with a choice of we want to edit an existing derivation or start a new derivation. Uh, so we're going to go with one. The name of the derivation is this is a test. And we'll put that in. And now we're faced with a, a set of choices of where do we want to start. So typically we want to start with a declare initial expression. So we can either copy and paste that into the command prompt, or we can type DEC and then a tab, which is tab complete. And another tab gives us the sort of suggested, suggested completions. So we're going to declare initial expression. That'll be our first operator. And the operator is going to operate on um, expressions. In this case, there are no input expressions, and there's no feeds, and there's one output expression. That's what it's looking for. Since we're starting a new derivation, we're going to provide it a new LaTeX expression. So we'll just take the default here, which is 1, and just hit Enter. And so we now need to put in what the expression is. We're going to say like a times x to the second power plus b times x plus c equals 1. So you can see I'm using just standard LaTeX um, syntax here for the expression. And I hit enter, and it says here's the data structure that I'm holding, it, a dictionary with a bunch of um, key value pairs. So the first one being an inference rule of type declare initial expression with no inputs or feeds and an output, which has a list, and the list is a dictionary in this case of just one entry, a, a, one dictionary with a LaTeX expression and an ID number. So we're going to add another step. So we'll take the default of one, and now we're going to say subtract x, uh, subtract x from both sides. We're going to type sub. Two tabs gets us subtract x from both sides. And now I have a choice. I can either enter the follow-on expression, or I can reference as an input. This is looking for one input expression here. I can reference that previously supplied expression. So I'm going to type 2. And it's looking for the, a number like this to reference. And so I'm going to just copy and paste that into the prompt. And now it's looking for a feed, so something that I subtract from both sides of that expression. I'm going to put in k. And then the output is going to have to correspond to uh, what, what I expect the output to be. In this case, it'll be ax super 2 plus bx plus c minus k equals 1 minus k. Oops. <coughs> Sorry, I've had to put a new output expression. I'll just Put that in there. All right, so it created a new dictionary. And this is subtract x from both sides. And now I have an input and an output with a feed value. So I'm going to add one more step. Sorry, it's one here. I'm going to declare the final expression. So declare final. And then I use tab to complete that. And I'm going to use, again, that expression that we just put in. So this will be choice 2. And the expression index is the output from what we were doing. 
paste that in there and it's done. So now I've, I've completed my derivation, pretty complicated, and I'm going to exit the derivation. And so what we get as output just before the program quits is something that could be written to file as a set of a list of dictionaries where it's basically every step is contained in that data structure that we entered. So then that can be written to whatever um, data uh, file that we want to, to write it to. Alright, so we'll exit out of the application. And thank you for watching.